here with KTVA vocalist Gabriella Vinciguila and Gabby Young. Um, I'm back. You're back, big time, in a big <laughs> way, right? Um, like, what inspired you and how did you become a vocalist? Like, what led you to become a vocalist? Like, what led me? Um, it's kind of running in our family, is so true? Because really? my, my dad is a guitar player. Um, so since I was like four years old, he would take me to rehearsing with his band. My brother is a drummer. Okay. And um, since we were like nine or eight years old, we were major fans of Kiss. Wait, where are you from? I'm originally from Czech Republic. Okay, there you go. And <laughs> this, this was when? I would say 2001, okay. 2002. Okay. Wow. My brother would always be Peter Chris. He was playing the drums. <laughs> I was Paul Stanley. Oh, are you kidding? I was a Paul star, would love star that. child. <laughs> yeah, Paul was like my first like vocal crush, probably crushes as a guy. Are you serious? <laughs> he was like eight years old. So that's what, how it started, was like okay. I had no idea that I could sing when I was like eight or nine years old. But it was somewhere in there, it was just this, there's something about it that just fascinates me. So that's how I'd say that it started, um, but um, it wasn't until I was 13 years old when um, I started to experiment with my voice. 13? Mm -hmm. Okay. And just started singing different songs, and my friends were like, we just sound really good. You sound really good, like you should do something about it. Uh, so my best friend and my dad, they persuaded me to sign up for a first like, singing competition, kind of like a uh, little idol yeah. in a very small Czech, Czech idol small. village okay. in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I won that. And uh, that's why I like to did, say... Did, you, did your parents support that? or My dad, when he found out that I'm going to be a part of some singing competition because he, he had no idea if I could sing or not. He's a question. Wait, did you hide did you hide? I it? I was hiding it. You hid it. I was only singing when they were not home. Okay. No one was home. Why? I don't know. I mean I was intimidated. I was like I don't know like, if I can control it, like I wanna, I wanna play with it a little bit You're to 13. see what I can sing. Right, right, right. right. Um, and I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be, be like Oh, you, you suck, or you know, whatever. <laughs> my parents were, my parents were later supportive. Okay. My whole family. But the day of the, the competition, my dad came to me and he said, "I want to come, but am I going to be embarrassed?" Ouch. <laughs> that was my dad's reaction. Ouch. Okay. Um. So and then big he, lesson for everybody out there. For, for all on. the parents, like. They, they don't know, you know, they, they don't know. Like, yeah. it's just, um, and he wasn't. He was like, wow, like, I'm actually blown away. He's like, you, you have it. You, you have it. <laughs> the X Factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, good information. So, yeah. You're... But, but to clear up my dad's reputation later on, he had supported <laughs> me by when I formed my first band. band. Uh, that's that, that was very short after um, his competition. I was opening up for his band. Wow. So my dad was like, I wanna I want you to like You're not headlining your dad. You're I not headlining your dad's band. You're I was warming up, I was warming up. What would be your recommendation then for people just getting started at that point? That, I don't care what age level, parents or kids or anything in between. Just go for it or like Um Honestly, pretty much. Because like you can sing at your house, in your room, for yourself. Well the world is not gonna find out without you trying. And now it's the modern days, like we, we didn't have a TikTok, we didn't have Instagram. And still, even nowadays, even if you want to do social media stuff and, and like sing on TikTok or Instagram, which is great for your exposure, you still have to aim for do live gigs. Okay, wait, wait, wait yeah, again. yes, big time, live gigs to oh, prove. Oh my goodness. Okay, but um, did you get beat up then on people that, um, on Instagram, TikTok, like did they make fun of you? like? Have you had like negative comments? I or? didn't. I mean, that that wasn't until we started to work together. Because <laughs> I'm the factor. I'm the fa factor. It was the first okay, time so. I, I really was like uh, doing it for social media, was like for PTA. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but I, the way I did it was like I went to a Czech and Slovak idol, right? Yes. That's a big yeah. thing. Like that was that that took some courage. Czech Slovak idol, yeah. like American idol. Yeah. yeah. That took some courage, uh, obviously, to just go for the audition, but it's yes. backing it up, it really started with whatever came my way, whatever gig that was. Yes. Even my dad, like, do you want to warm up for our band? I was like, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I yes. was scared 
shitless. <laughs> Going first time on the stage, I'm like, this is it. I either gonna collapse, faint. The stage fright was so intense, like uh -huh. it was a this decisive moment. And my dad hold my he would hold my hand, it's just like uh -huh. go, you have to go, uh -huh. you have to do it. And once I've done it, then every that. other milestone, whatever that was, being like on the TV for three million people or with Eurovision Song Contest, it was Eurovision. Just, it was not worse. Top ten, by the than way. Then that first gig yeah. when I was fourteen. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? Is that crazy? Seriously, we should like do a whole thing on stage fright. I hope you were just you seriously stage need to just yeah. break that one moment you, you feel you're gonna die because the stage fright is so crazy overwhelming. But the moment I got on the stage, it was a moment I'm like, you know what? I was born for this. Exactly. I, I don't want to do anything yeah. else. At some ever. level, whatever the level is. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's, so that's I would just say, like, for anyone, especially the younger generation, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, all, all of the exposure you can do, obviously, if you're singing is great. But if there's any live gig, any little small club gig, you want to get experience singing live and perform, because that's how you learn, that's how you get interacting pitch. with your audience. Yeah, yes. intonation, yep. pitch, you yep. know, because like, you don't always hear yourself, you know. And there's, I'm sure there's many, like, now TikTokers or Instagrammers that got famous very early on, and now they have to perform live, and they're just like, Doing? Yep. What am I gonna yep. do? Yep. Steve Lukather walked through um, NAM a couple years back and some guitar player he saw on NAM and you know he really inspired and he goes, Man, he barely played what he did on TikTok, I think it was. Yeah. And but live put a sheet of music in front of him, forget that noise, but improv with a band or play with a band, end of the story. Like they couldn't do it. So thank yeah. you for joining me, Ken Temple. By the way, I have a singing course, Ken Temple and Vocacademy.com. You can Click on the link here if you want to do this. I have a free singing forum uh, with like, I don't know, I think 100,000 people around there right now um, to exchange information. So until next time, peace out.